Hello, I'm Lauren Hayes and this is Kelkine's Daily Trending News. Harvey Weinstein's legal battle continues as the Manhattan District Attorney's Office announced on Wednesday that he will face retrial in New York following the overturning of his 2020 rape conviction by the state's highest court last week. Weinstein, once a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, appeared in court before Judge Curtis Farber after spending more than four years in prison for his previous conviction. His case, hailed as a milestone during the Me Too movement, shed light on allegations of sexual misconduct against numerous men across various various industries. The 72-year-old had been serving a 23-year sentence in upstate New York before being transferred to Bellevue Hospital post the court's decision last week. The retrial stems from critical legal errors identified by the New York Court of Appeals, which found that allowing testimony about unrelated sexual assaults violated Weinstein's right to a fair trial. Weinstein's initial conviction in 2020 involved charges of sexually assaulting Miriam Haley in 2006 and raping Jessica Mann in 2013, among other allegations from over 80 women. He maintained his innocence throughout, denying any non-consensual encounters. Aside from his New York trial, Weinstein also faced a separate rape trial in California, resulting in a 16-year sentence. However, these sentences cannot run concurrently, adding to the complexity of his legal battles. With Judge James Burke, the original trial judge, no longer presiding, Weinstein's retrial in New York will unfold under a different judicial lens. Justice Curtis Farber took charge of Wednesday's proceedings, marking another chapter in the legal journey of the co-founder of Miramax and former head of his own film studio. That's the latest from Kilkine's Daily Trending News.